way, what's up my brothers and sisters from the YouTube 16 scale community, Nanny D is back with two exceptional figures. First one is Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, awesome figure, I'm gonna do a review on that later on. And uh, the figure I'm just about to show you is Joker DX 2.0. As you know, I'm a huge Joker fan, and I'm, uh, <coughs> I was anticipating this figure ever since it was announced, so happy to have him. Even though I have the Anthro Bay Joker quarter scale, it doesn't matter, you can't get enough Joker. So, uh, yeah, let's cut the shit and uh, let's go straight to the figure. Alright. So. This is Joker 2.0. Look at the head sculpt. Beautiful. The paint application is amazing. It's so, so, so much better than uh, the DX1. No doubt. I sold my DX1, so unfortunately I can't compare it anymore. But uh, you gotta trust in this one and just judge by yourself. It's incredible. The purse system works well. And the second head sculpt, the laughing face, is equally good. It's beautiful. I actually like the laughing face even more than uh, the other one. Look at the scars, it's beautiful. Hot Toys just did an incredible job to capture the likeness of the Joker character. Um, <clears throat> the tailoring of the new suit is amazing. Kato's design is beautiful. It's not as puffy as it seems in some of the pictures. It's a very nice uh, suede touch. And um, I think both head sculpts are equally good, so I think they both deserve to be displayed. So if you have the DX1, you may just um, switch the heads and put the laughing face on your DX1. Perhaps take off the coat and the jacket and display him only with the vest and the shirt. So you have like um, the scene where he is uh, in prison or like I did just put him here on uh, the bank robber head I think it looks awesome also with the shotgun that comes with the DX2 which is uh, used in that bank robber scene so that uh, shotgun and that laughing face suits the bank robber figure perfectly um, the base is the same um, like the DX1 except it has some rusty spots and corroded pattern to it the purple frame lights up this is uh, my custom made name tag as I always do I display him with a machine gun but you have so many different ways how to display him there are plenty of pictures on the internet with all possible display options let me spin this baby for you let's take another shot from the side myself I like this face I really love it I really like it more than the other one hot toys really did an excellent job I mean look at the teeth and the tongue everything is so nicely done it's incredible can't tell but both are super super nice but somehow I like the laughing face better than uh, the other one um, yeah, the backdrop 
um, wall is a part of the diorama. You get two more walls. Oh, let me show you quick. Um, this one here, there's still the plastic cover on it. So it's sort of a dark, mirrored. And now you get two of these pieces, so you probably can put it here on the side. Yeah, you get the idea. There's a second one. <clears throat> um, comes with this chair and the table, both made of plastic, nothing special, but looks cool. I'm definitely not going to display him with uh, the chair and the table as I don't have any more room, but if you have room, you sure can build, recreate a nice diorama. Um, this is the exclusive version um, with uh, the additional clown bank robber uh, mask. Pretty cool. And also this little card box with the detonator. Yeah, whatever. Nice touch, but uh, nothing special. Then uh, you get here the shoe knife. Pencil. I think you can stick the pencil here in that hole if you want to recreate that scene where he approaches the underworld bosses and uh, you know just sticks the pencil in the table, whatever. Then uh, a knife, the butterfly knife, and his Joker, famous Joker knife. So plenty of possibilities to display him with a variety of weapons. Um, handcuffs and joker card and dollar bills. I'm not gonna take it out, you get the idea. I'm not quite sure if um, the table lamp uh, works or not, if it lights up or not. I haven't figured it out yet because I just unboxed it, but um, yeah, we'll check it out later. And um, the box is pretty nice, nice purple color with this uh, laughing devil in front. Then you get all these <coughs> kind of shiny letters on it. it. says ha ha ha. It's really a beautiful box. The usual set of Joker cards. You get a lot of hands. Um, six ungloved hands. Uh, six, no, actually it's uh, seven gloved hands because that hand is uh, no, that hand is missing here on a second. Oh, yeah, that hand is uh, on my table, but yeah, you get six uh, gloved hands here, like spare hands, and uh, the two that are obviously in the body. So it's eight gloved hands and six ungloved hands here in the lower compartment you have the base and uh, the rest of the diorama you know just the usual DX box <coughs> all right so that's it that's the Joker uh, here it says special edition I think that's the one with the uh, clown mask the second clown mask let's take one last look at both beautiful pieces. I think they captured the likeness of Heath Ledger and the Joker character really, really well. I can't tell if, whether it's 100% spot on or not. It looks top notch to me, but uh, perhaps one of the other things they could have done a better job. To me, it does the job, it's really great, I like it. Same. For a laughing face so that's it my brothers and sisters I hope you enjoy this little review and uh, I hope you don't have to wait too long for this beautiful figure set you're definitely gonna love it all of you Joker and Batman fans out there 
um, you will definitely enjoy this figure. So all the best, see you around on YouTube, bye bye.